Okay, so moving on to the next uh, lesson. This is this is the point where we need to set up your trial account, and very simply, you're just going to click on this button here, where you can access and get a, a free 14-day trial. So you can you've got two weeks to to use the software whilst completing your course at no no cost. So the first thing you're probably going to want to do is pause this video and, and just click on the button here, free trial. And all you're looking for is the simple 14-day free trial of your ClickFunnels. You don't need Backpack and Actionetics. That would be in the advanced trainings. So click free trial. So enter your email address here. And create a password. So step two, obviously, of setting up your 14-day free trial. There's no contracts to this and also once they've got your card details if you wish after the 14 days to continue as you can see down here it's $97 a month that gives you access to your entire ClickFunnels account up to a hundred pages up to 20 funnels huge amount of visitors so uh, you will be able to run everything from this one account you don't need this this here this is a, a one-click upsell this is just um, unnecessary okay so in this lesson I want you to understand your customer so I've given you a document here um, which is a download and I want you to take some action on this before you move on to the next lesson. So it's all about, as you can see here, who are your customers, what they want and what motivates them to buy. Because once you understand these things, which is very important, then there's a good chance that you can start talking to your customers in a better way. So what I want you to do is to go through this document and further down your customer avatar you'll see here there's a worksheet for you you know what are your customers common fears frustrations pains or urgencies because if you can solve those then there's a good chance that they're going to buy your product what are their wants and aspirations describe some of the common experiences and the reality as it applies to your product slash service do they have common irrational fears and fancies name and describe your customer avatar and bring him or her to life so I want you to go through this document and, and follow its entirety so that you come up with a customer avatar. You know, exactly who they are, what their demographic is, are they male, female, are they 20s to 30s, 30s to 40s, 50s to 60s. You know, once you understand that, then every piece of, um, you know, writing you do or funnel producing you do or emails that you do, it will be much, much easier to target that person because you'll have an understanding of who they are. So good luck with this. And if you need any questions, just, just drop me an email in here. What is a funnel? So let's have a look at a basic opt-in funnel. And you've probably all been through a, a basic opt-in funnel. Um, it's a very simple squeezed page. And again, for those of you on the web class, uh, you'll see this and you'll recognize this. This is my very simple squeeze page to get you to give me your name and email address so that you can then come to the web class. And again, you'll recognize the thank you page. So there is a very basic opt-in funnel, uh, taking someone's information because it's something that they they want to, to have a look at, or they it might be a PDF, it could be a video series, it could be any information that you can offer in relation to your product or service uh, and again, it's got to be engaging enough that they're going to enter their details and then a little bit of a thank you page explaining what's going to happen next. So again, this is another opt-in page here. This is from our CRS Sales Academy. This is a grab your free CRS Sales Academy three-part video series, the 17 secret ingredients to your sales recipe for success. And this is the thank you page. And again, what you're probably already going to notice is, if I go back, everything's very congruent. And what I mean by that is, like, for instance, this uh, squeeze page and thank you page, the colouring's all the same, the styling's all the same. So someone feels like they're definitely in the right place. Now, on this thank you page, this takes people straight into the first video of the three-part video. Okay, so it's instantly giving them access to what they've just asked for over here. And also, again, you'll see here, this is uh, another funnel squeeze page we've got where we're giving a free funnel strategy 
to sell your digital course using high converting sales funnels. And again, this is the thank you page, a little video from me thanking them and explaining what's happening next. That's all the thank you page is doing is confirming what you've told them on the previous page and what's the next step. So in this thank you page, I'm telling them to check their email for the free strategy that I've sent them. And I'm also then telling them that in the video, and I'm also then offering them to jump onto this webinar. So the idea of me getting their name and email address here is to try and actually get them onto this web class. Okay. So let's have a look at an opt-in funnel with a one-time offer. That's the OTO, one-time offer. So the squeeze page on this one that I've used is um, it's, it's a free um, plus shipping offer. So you can see here that, again, you could offer something that's free plus shipping. So let's say, for instance, it could be a book or, you know, on here it's a widget. So it's something that's minimal cost to you, and you're just going to charge the client four fifty five pounds shipping and handling, which covers your costs of actually shipping that product out to them. And what you can see here is uh, I've highlighted, I've, I've taken a screenshot. Without them leaving the page, once they click... So let me show you again. Once they click on here, go to step two on this page, it doesn't leave the page, but it then changes this second part. So this is where they're adding their, adding their card details in for the, for instance, $4.99 shipping and handling. And you can also notice here there's a little one-time offer bump. Uh, and again, without going into too much detail about that, it's just something else that's, again, relevant and congruent with the the free plus shipping offer you've just given them and it's it will automatically if they click that add that price to their 499 so it's a very quick way of a mini upsell and from that page they'll then go to the the, the full upsell so this is a one-time offer page and you can see there it's got you know you're almost complete your order is not yet complete and there'll be a little sales video here and then down below here will be a uh, specific offer an order page and this will tell them exactly what it is that they can buy and this is what you're doing here is you're trying to say to the client look this you're never going to see this again you've just opted in for my 499 widget free plus postage uh, shipping and handling but whilst you're here you can now get this widget advanced training uh, for 97 dollars so again it's a little bit of scarcity uh, which makes people then go oh it's only one click they click a button and that will automatically get added to their previous 499 and maybe their bump as well. And then following that, whether they take that one time offer or not, it will take them to the thank you page. Very straightforward. It will thank them for their order. Maybe again, a little video explaining what will happen next. And again, you can see here, this will then give them access to their purchases. And all of these things in click funnels, you can automatically, as you can see there, it's got a dynamic. So it's linking all the time to the product that you've installed into this page. So again, a lot of the work is done by click funnels here to help you fix this process. So it's nice and easy for people to come through the squeeze page, through the one time offer, through to the thank you page. Again, it'll have automation in there. So they get the automatic email thanking them and then any follow up emails you add in there. So just a quick, you know, I'm asking now, uh, does that make sense, those those first two funnels, is that making sense to anyone? Any, any questions on the, the basic funnel or the opt-in with one-time offer funnel? Yeah, lots of yeses. Okay, yeah, someone asking here. So let me go back. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, yeah, so the question was... Um, yeah, how do they get from here to here? So once they filled in their information here, their name, their email, their phone number, full address, name, uh, country, they click the go to step two. And this will take them then here. And this, your billing information is this next page. So you see how it's now taken through to the billing information. This would be the name of your product, which you'd have added into ClickFunnels as an individual product. So it could be uh, my free widget. And it will show them the price that you selected for their um, shipping and handling. They enter their card details. They either select this or don't. And then there will be a continue button down below here. And then 
before they get billed, they'll be taken to the one time offer page. Does that answer your question? Yes, excellent, excellent. I can't see any other questions querying these two pages. I've got one more funnel I'm gonna show you. And again, this is a free plus shipping product funnel. So a lot of you out there might have uh, products you sell. Let's say, for instance, it could be a hand cream. It could be, I don't know, memory stick. And you wanna get in the hands of your clients without costing you anything. And again, you want to get a client's information so that you then may be able to upsell them from the hand cream to a full package of, of creams and offerings, or it could be a monthly uh, different hand cream, or it could be, as we're talking about the memory stick, it could be additional services. So the idea of the free plus shipping is you get in their name and email without costing you anything. And then a lot of offers, you may make a few pounds just for them paying that full 99 shipping and handling, for instance. So on this um, this one that I've selected, this is a free plus shipping on a pair of sunglasses. So again, you can see here, it's, it's telling them it's free Ray-Bons, <laughs> um, and you're just going to pay the shipping and handling. And again, if someone has, has found this page, they've come through um, a, a special Facebook advert or a Google advert or somewhere on your website or a special offer page, then this is a kind of no-brainer that you know you'd have a countdown clock here and all they've got to do is click on this free add to cart button it's really straightforward isn't it from the clicking the free add to cart button again you'll recognize this from the previous opt-in they're going to add to add their name email address and click on the go to step two again you'll see the countdown clock will carry across here for anyone that's sat on the fence a little bit of scarcity again you'll also notice here um, amazing customer feedback on the product and a bit more information about the sunglasses when they click get go to step two obviously they'll go to the next page where they add their credit card information and then they're going to go to the one-time offer page so again you can see here they're buying a set of or they, they're getting a set of free sunglasses so a great little upsell is is a sunglass um, cleaning kit and again, you can see for $47.99, they can get this for a limited time. And again, the scarcity factor kicks in now where this client is under the impression that, and again, this, to keep this working, keep this congruent, this would be a one-time offer. You wouldn't offer this to them a week later because you lost all your credibility. This will be a one-time offer that they can get this time only. As soon as they leave this page, that's it. So they are either got the choice now to click yes, add my order, or no thanks, continue to check out. And then finally, you'll see that they're on the on order confirmation page. This here again will dynamically take the product through the process, and it will show the price they've paid. Uh, they can access their purchase there. Again, it's just some customer feedback, and then you'd have on here whatever you want, maybe a, a little video, a little explanation it could just be a, a simple thank you we'll be in touch or however you want to um you know structure that page so very simple very easy to do but obviously the idea is to take that client through a journey that from the basic opt-in just getting their name and email for a specific um you know it could be a pdf could be a video series it could be just information that you've got that they want could be solving a problem. That's that's generally the key thing. Um, through to selling someone through this free plus shipping product funnel. And in fact, I've forgotten I've added an additional one. Uh, I've also got the product launch funnel here. So you'll see a very similar styled squeeze page. So again, you're going to be a nice grippy headline, a little video probably explaining what they're going to get in this launch sequence of videos. And again, they all they do is add their name and email address in here, click subscribe. And 90% of the time, this will take them straight through to video one. This is the introduction. This is you telling them. Uh, again, this is, this is you giving them lots of information in video one, two, three, and four on the basis that you want to get them to know, like, and trust you to then either sell them along the way or sell them on video four. You can see in this example I've used here, step one is to get their free trial of something.
They'll then progress to day uh, to video two. You know, again, for me personally, if I've used this, they'll go from the squeeze page to video one straight away. And then day one after, sorry, from, from video one, the next day they'll get an email giving them the link for video two. And then the same a day after for video three and the same for video four. So again, they get an engagement across a three day or four day period to get to know, like, and trust you or your business and understand the products or services that you're offering. So again, video three and then video four, you'd normally be trying to sell them into your service or sell them a product at this point, but not necessarily. It's not a, not a, not a necessity. So there you go. So there's a, a very quick explanation of, of what a funnel is. And again, there's another 50 different variations I could have given you here. There'll be lots in the tips and tools section. So again, I'm going to add that as a freebie at the end so you can get access to that. And every seven days I, I release a new funnel for you to look at and also to get um, to, to download. So these are just four that I put together just so it gives you an idea. So let's get into secret number one. Tiny tweaks that can make huge changes for you, okay? Split test number one. So what I've done here is I've, I've taken some of the split tests that we've done. I've now realized exactly what is working and what's not. So on this split test, what I want to show you here is this is the subject line for my email broadcast that was going out. And I tested three or four different subject lines. And, and this one, and this one here was the most popular. It's got the best conversion rates. So once you've done a little split test on your subject lines, you need to find out which one performs the best. And this one is where you're going to put your subject line. And what, what I found to get better conversions is that if you then add the same subject line here above your video and here below your video so that when they click on that, it enters your page. This again increases conversions by at least 32% because you already know this subject line is engaging people. So why not continue it here in the email? Does that make sense? Yeah, get lots of yeses, get lots of yeses. And then once they've clicked on this here and it takes them through to the page you want to sell them something or, you know, you want to do the next step, then guess what? Use the same subject line as your header and then maybe your sales video and then your call to action. So this simple tweak that, that I realized after doing lots of testing has increased conversions by a huge percentage. And, you know, if you're sending out emails right now and you're sending people to a sales page, I guarantee if you implement this very quickly, you'll see your conversions will increase. And the other thing, I haven't actually done it on this one. Um, you can see there's a play button there. But if you add a play button right in the middle here, this again will increase conversions. When people click on this video, it will take them to the same page as this link here. Okay, so that's split test number one. So split test number two, again, I started realizing that you know, down below my sales video or my webinars, and again, you would have seen on this web class, um, all of you, that I would have had four bullet points below the video. And I call these a video spoiler. And I've seen a massive increase in sales page conversions since adding these. And they're, they're really, sorry, excuse me, they're really easy to do. All you're doing really is taking snippets from your sales video or your web class uh, and you can see on this um, web web class video spoiler I've added times and this really helps to keep people on the web class till the end because if they want to know you know how to do this um, the click funnels demo or how to implement a funnel well they're going to stay to minute 19 and again I don't think um, I've actually got the correct times on here but you can see just by adding four little um, video spoilers you're going to get people to attend your, your web classes or watch till the end of your sales video, which is really, really important. Split test number three. <laughs> so split test number three. Some of you are going to hate this because this page is pretty ugly. And believe me, I hated it at the beginning. Uh, this is not a page for your existing list. This is a page for completely cold traffic. So let me just stress that again. This um, opt-in page is for completely cold traffic people who don't know you um, and, and 
this is the best converting squeeze page ever where when I switched this page from my best converting page it converted 50% better with cold traffic and most of the cold traffic goes through this page now so the headline is a very specific number so this is the first part here now when we first had this page up um, I think we talked about how how to add a thousand people to a page uh, sorry a thousand people a day to your email list and just by tweaking this to a specific number how to add 1139 people a day to your email list there was an increase of 24%. 24% increase just by making this number a specific number because it looks real. It looks it doesn't look like just a number you plucked out of the air, a thousand. And that one sorry, that concept works across everything. So with the sales pages, emails, never use um, a very basic number of a thousand or twenty or fifty. It's always a, a, a specific number, and this will increase everything. On your landing pages uh, on, on on everything you use the next thing is like a mini survey um, and you can do these in, in inside of click funnels right now but there's a lot of data and there's a headline that grabs your attention step number one step number two number three and then how did you hear about us and again Russell Brunson told me about adding the, the capture uh, which increased opt-ins by 206 percent so so this here when when I first started um, using these pages I just had this opt-in here you know did you hear about us through TV Dan Kennedy or an emails newsletter so what Russell said was that if someone turned up on this page and they weren't from one of those three they left and just by adding the other opt-in here it increased but opt-ins by 206 percent that's just absolutely huge and the last thing um, was that I made this page a, a secure page, so an, a HTTPS page. And again, you can't see at the top here because I haven't got it. Uh, but making this HTTPS page, and again, you can do that in ClickFunnels, the, the, it was an increase in conversions again. And sorry, in fact, the last thing that we did um, was this here. We originally had as finish. So step one, step two, step three was finish. And when they clicked on the next button, in their mind, I suppose they'd closed off. So the brain was thinking that they'd finished. And you know, it was closing people's minds off. So when they got to the next page, we were having to try and reopen their mind up to trying to buy something. So you know the loop had been open and now it, it had been closed. So just by changing that to get your access, the conversions went up on the next page, the sales page. So it kind of makes sense for you to make sure that their loop is still open so that when they get to the next page, they're still in that buying mode. And I hope that makes sense. Getting lots of yeses, so good. So again, very ugly page, but really simple, really easy. And again, you can copy this straight away and just tweak this, tweak your questioning to make sure that you're getting the maximum out of that opt-in page. Okay, so in this lesson, I just wanted to show you some examples of what a landing page actually is. And you can see from this example here that I can't move my mouse anywhere. This is the entire page. So we've got a, a, an engaging headline, a uh, subheadline, and then on this landing page, I've got three simple steps here just so that the client knows that they're going to be answering a question here. And then there's a little bit more. So they're going to click on one of these where they've seen me. They're going to click on get the free course. And then they're going to have to add their name and email. So that's the first landing page. So you can see here the idea of doing this little three-step process is it's setting them up to know that actually once they've entered their information here, there is another step. So just by asking someone to just select something here, it's a tiny minute addition to, to making sure that they're going to add their details further on. So once they've clicked here, as I've just shown, they've got to add that. Then they add their name and email. And then they're going through to a, a, a sales page. In this one here, you can see it's just a very straightforward headline. Uh, there's a little video here. Which so hi and welcome. explains to them about the training course. And very similar. There's a little pop-up that jumps up. 
the main thing about a squeeze page, a landing page, an opt-in page is that there isn't lots of other distractions around the page as you can see here. There's pretty much you know one or two things to do. I can either watch the video uh, or I can click on the opt-in box and in fact on this one I have a split test on it and, th and this actually won outright uh, where that was just a picture with the play button when they clicked it the pop-up opened and this this one won. The third one here is just again very simple just asking for the email address and just a simple headline at the top here offering a PDF how to launch and, uh, and sell your digital course using a high converting sales funnel. And the fourth one here this is just access to my tips and tools area again you would have seen this page and this is part of your training course you can get access to my free tips and tools area and as you can see here nice simple headline a, a, a fictitious box similar to the one I did previously so if they try and click play here there is no video to play yet they've got to give me their name and, and email uh, to go through to the members area and get access to my free tips and tools so very simple uh, landing pages short sharp to the point so someone's either got the option to give you their name and email because they want what you're offering or to leave so we've just looked at what landing pages are and in this lesson we're very quickly going to have a look at why they're so important and obviously this is um, the funnel we've got drawn out here this is your traffic sources and then this leads you to your first lead magnet which is similar to the the ones we've seen on the previous page and for someone that opts in, they will then be sent to what's called a, a tripwire in this funnel. And this will be a long form landing page or long form sales letter. So you'll be able to see here that there's lots and lots of content here. And there's a countdown clock. And there's lots of reasons of why someone would want to purchase this. And you see lots of lots of places where they can order and then from there if they purchase that as a yes then they're going to go through to the core offer that's that's most important is to get them to put their hand up and say yes and then they're going to go to the core offer so let me just show you a, a, an example of a core offer hey robert murray here founder of so this is um this is a live training course that i offer and you can see here it's it's now going into depth lots of videos lots of testimonials again there's a countdown clock loads of reasons why someone would want to come and, and spend a day with me on a, a full day training course I've got a reduced price again the countdown clock would normally start from scratch because I'm looking at inside my click funnels giving them three different options and then if they click through from here it's going to take them straight through to a an order page so just coming back to you know why landing pages are so important. You've got a landing page here, landing page here, landing page here. Yes, of course, they're all slightly different. This is just um, taking someone's name and email. This is then selling them on a low-end product from between sort of five to, to fifteen dollars. And then this is selling your core product. It could be you know hundred to three hundred pounds. And then you know later on you may look at looking at a profit maximizer and selling them a high ticket product very very important you get landing pages right uh, for every single part of your funnel okay so welcome to the next module and it's a tour of the click funnels dashboard so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to log into our dashboard and if you haven't already done one of the previous steps where you go and set up your free trial stop the video right now go and do that otherwise you are a stalemate so for those who have already done that let's crack on and let's log into our click funnels account now down below this video in this module you'll see that I've put screenshots of everything we're going to be talking about and and also a download so my opinion is you should go and print that out and then you can have that next to you whilst we're covering all of these different sections now throughout the dashboard and the next module on the editor it will just really help you out so the first things first you're going to notice that I don't have the three videos at the top this is one of my test accounts and obviously I did those way 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 back and uh, the new 
the count does look slightly different in certain areas from the screenshot I've got for you. But if we go through from 1 through to 38 on the screenshot that's down below the video, and um, might as well take it in a nice orderly fashion. So number 1 is the funnels button, and if you hover over this, you can either browse your funnels, which will bring you to this page, uh, you can go into your contacts, go into your sales, or click on a new funnel. Number two on the screenshot is Actionetics. You can ignore that completely at the moment unless you're going to be doing some advanced things. Uh, with your $97 account, you won't have access to Actionetics. Or number three, which is Backpack. So you can ignore those two completely at the moment. Number four is Account. And again, in the account, uh, it's got lots of different sections here, which we will cover in a separate module. As you can see on the screenshot, it's slightly different. This is uh, the new, obviously the updated version here live that I'm showing you. And the screenshot is a little bit older. So here you've got help and you've got all your document library. So if you click on this, this will open up a new window. And you can go and search through here and find out anything you need to know inside the ClickFunnels support area. And also you can click on chat or you can click on chat down here and again go and ask any questions you, you require. So number eight on the screenshot, you'll probably have a orange and yellow bar across the top and then you will have the three videos if you're brand new to ClickFunnels. And I would advise you go and try and claim your free t-shirt, go through those videos. The training, as I say, is slightly dated, it's a little bit older. The videos are in the old style of when I started out a couple of years ago, but they're still very relevant. So I would you know, go and start on number eight. Number nine on the screenshot is, uh, as it says, go and start those quick start videos. And again, 15, 20, 30 minutes worth of your time. And it's very, very worth it. Number 10 is searching your funnel. So again, you can either go and click on specific uh, tags, or you can just type in here the name of the funnel you're looking for and click search. 11 is add a new funnel. So click on here and that will instantly open up the add new funnel section. Number 12 is show all funnels, which again is what I've got open. Number 13, your recently updated funnels. And these will show you most recently updated ones. Number 14 is your archived funnels or your deleted funnels, but they are never deleted completely, which I think is amazing. As you can see here, uh, these are some of the funnels that I've worked on. And the great thing is, God, I didn't realize I had so many, <laughs> but the great thing about it is, is you don't have to ever think, oh God, I deleted that funnel. Um, I've got to start from scratch. You just go back here, click restore, click OK, and that will now be back into my funnel section. Well, here it is here. But if I go back into my, my funnel menu, you'll see that it suddenly appeared here which is it's just fabulous. Also, you can see here there's a marketplace. This is new and it's not on the screenshot. And again, I've not purchased any funnels in the marketplace, but you can go to the marketplace. So on the screenshot, it shows that the support desk is here. That's now changed. It's down here, as I just mentioned earlier. Number 16, it's showing you the name of the funnel. Once you've created the name, this is where it shows here. So you can see each one of these is, is a separate funnel that I've named. Number 17, it will also show you when it was last updated. Number 18 will show you how many steps are in the funnel. So as you can see, 426331. Number 19, you can click and edit any one of these funnels. Alternatively, you can click on the title to edit the funnel. Number 20, this will just show you your account name and also your account email. You can also add a, a, a an avatar or gravatar, a little picture there, which is number 22. Number 23 is the number of unique visitors you've had, which is here. Number 24, the amount of pages you have within your your funnels. And number 25, the, amount, the number of funnels, excuse me. Down here, number 26, you can access the Funnel Hacks uh, webinars. Also, number 27, the, the ClickFunnels blog. Number 29, you can purchase advanced funnel training. 
and then you have 30 which is Facebook 31 Twitter 32 Google 33 has been moved again so you've got support down here and then 37 and 38 down here your terms and your privacy so that's the end of this module okay so in this module we're going to take a tour of the ClickFunnels page editor now in the previous module we looked at the dashboard but now we're going to jump into inside of the funnels and start showing you how you edit and can construct your pages so I'm going to open up a new funnel for this and I'm just going to call it test So when you're starting to create any funnel, it's always going to give you options of pages for opt-in pages, sales pages, thank you pages. Again, this is completely personal preference. A lot of these are my own templated pages, but um, just for a simple opt-in, I'm going to go with, so you can obviously preview these. I'll give you an idea of what kind of layout it's got, what kind of things it's going to have in the page. And this one's fine for now. I've selected the template. So again, as with the previous module, there's um, instructions down below. There's also a download sheet, which I highly recommend printing out. And it means you can follow along as we go. And I'm going to be pretty much doing it in the same order as is down below here. So the first part is to click on uh, the edit page and to open the page editor. So the first thing we'll have a look at is the page editor settings that you can see down the right hand side here. And again, going by the screenshots I have below, number one is your settings. So going through the settings here, you have your meta tags and your social settings. So this here will always be at the top of your page here. See when I hover it, it says my awesome landing page. Now it's a bit of a giveaway when someone's created a page or a website or a funnel in ClickFunnels and they haven't edited this. It's kind of a basic thing. Uh, you don't want other people seeing that you don't have the skill set to, to to change this. So, you know, page title is really important. Page description equally because when it's shared on social media, if you don't change this, it'll add um, its own description. Keywords are important your name and then a picture for the social image so if someone shares this page on social media it's going to add your image in there custom domain again we'll go into that in a different section but you can add custom domains from inside this page your click funnels badge you can either have it hidden or you can have it showing at the bottom right hand corner so on my template here if I hadn't removed it it would show in this bottom right hand corner so if for instance anyone likes the look of your page they can click on that and then if they go and buy through the affiliate link you get paid 40% commission on a recurring basis digital assets and downloads again we're going to cover that in a different section your background settings for this page you can either change the color or you can add an image so if you click on that you can either add an image that's in here or you can go into the stock images or you can go into backgrounds so you click on the image you like and you click add image you can also change where it's going to be centered 100% uh, fit etc or repeating and you can actually add as a background you can add a video in here as well your global text and font settings again quite self-explanatory major main text color text link color and you can choose obviously what kind of font you'd like tracking codes unless you're using some of my custom coding uh, or you're an advanced coder you probably are just going to want to leave them for the moment you can also have a redirect override in here which will override any of the options that you select in this entire page custom CSS very similar to the tracking I'd leave that alone unless you're an advanced coder hiding from search engines I'm not quite sure why you'd want to but again it could be a private page so you can change that in here you can hide it or show in the search engines 
and quite important you can save this page once you've edited it I wouldn't do it beforehand because it's just this is a ClickFunnels template currently uh, but once you've finished editing this you can save it as a template and call it a specific name so you can use it in a different funnel it saves you starting from scratch and that is the settings the next one down is your email integrations and here this means you can integrate with uh, any of your specific autoresponders or I've got EverWebinar as well and you can link them to an, an autoresponder so for instance if I wanted to link this page I wanted to take the information that the clients going to add in here and then I want to send them emails from my GetResponse account I can click on the integration I want click on the campaign sorry add to campaign and then specify which campaign in my get responder account I would like to select I'm not going to do that at the moment as it's just a test and again we're going to go through integrations in a different section so the next four are very very important sections rows columns and elements and what I want to very quickly do is just drag this across here just to show you that now this is down below in the, in the section below here and what this shows you here is the different color scheme so you've got the green blue red and orange so anytime you're on any single page in ClickFunnels editor so let's just go back in here so if you see here I'm hovering here and it's got it's gone green so so green would be a section and then blue would be a and then blue would be a row orange would be a column and then last but not least inside each column there will be some elements so let's take sections first so obviously you can see when I'm moving around the page it's highlighting as I go and after five ten minutes you'll get very used to this how it pops up so if I if I get onto a section and then just pause for a second I'll see the gear icon the duplicate or the bin so it means I can do any one of these three things with any any single segment or any single part of the page. So for instance, if I wanted to get rid of this at the top here, I'll just click on the bin. Or if I wanted to duplicate it and add exactly the same next section in the next row, I can do that as well. What's quite nice is when you try and bin something, I always ask you if you're sure. So let's go back to sections. So sections I can either get to by hovering on the green section in here and then clicking on the this this here and it'll open up that specific section or I can click on the sections here and then I can get access to either the header, headlines, testimonials or the footer section. And you can probably see here you've got different options inside that so I can move them around, I can hide that entire header. I can duplicate it or I can bin it from within this section. So I hope that makes sense there. So I can either get to it here and that will come in and I'm then editing this one uh, header here or I can come into the sections and then I can pick a specific one and that will bring me back in the same way. So there's two different ways to get into that header like that or coming in here and clicking on the cog. So in here you've got your section name which you can change, your section ID and you can again you can change how you want it to be viewed the page. You can also change the width whether you want it wide, full page, medium and you can see on here as you do things it will change. So it is really, you can't break anything here. Uh, it doesn't auto save so as you can see we have a save button there so as soon as you save then it doesn't matter because I can still come back in here 20 minutes later and change this back to how I wanted it. So it's fully functional. I can change the color scheme. I can either drag that around and find the color I want or I can actually add, it, add the specific color in here. Or again, I can add a background image by clicking on that and then adding a specific image or going and searching for images. background image I can then full center 100% width repeat and I can also make it sticky 
so I can stick it to the top so when people scroll it stays there and now I can start with the padding so you can see here each each little area has got their own title so this is the settings of the actual um, the header now I'm into the padding so again if you have a little look I can now scroll that up and ah so you know it really it doesn't take long to, to start figuring this out with a little bit of trial and error so if I drag that back it goes back to as it was this will be the bottom of it so if you wanted a thicker header then you just move these and you can either drag them or you can enter the numbers in here that's entirely up to you so it's just say we'll have 10 either side you can bring left and right this is the the padding of the text and the uh, the so you see here we've got um, two different sections which it's bringing in next down we have the margin so again you can have your header bar so it's not right at the top if you want corners so you can make them rounded or very rounded so as you can see very quickly so you can change it for the top edges only the bottom or all edges and then we have borders so you can either have a full border you can have it dashed or dotted you have the dotted a bit thicker now down here we have the shadow so do you want your menu to have a shadow we can also have a time delay now again for your header uh, on the page you may want it you know you may want it to fade in or you want it to fade in with scale and you want it after you know five minutes you're probably not not going to use this option on your header of the page this is more likely to be for a button that's hidden until a set point maybe a point in the video and then you can have it so it appears and you can also have animation for style so you can have an on-page load and you can have different um, variations of fading in so that gives you an idea of the section so again you can select any of these sections and it's so you can see here on the left hand side when it's highlighting so you can see it's highlighting the header there the head headlines and the form um, obviously we can't see the testimonials but now it's highlighting so it, you can see exactly where you're going to be now editing so I click on that I can go in and edit this full section here and the same with the footer so that's your sections next you have rows so you can see at the top here you have a, we have a two column row so this is one column this is another column we have a headline form and then we have a section header testimonial block section header video description and then we've already shown we have a footer down here and exactly the same as before if we want to edit anything inside this two column row now so everything we're editing is inside that blue area so for instance we could change the, the background color of that see how it's just that small area in the middle so that's the two column row so all I'm doing here is it's changing the opacity of that that black I can have a background image and it, this is all very very similar to the previous page just go through figure out what settings you want on these rows moving on to columns so now you can see it's highlighting the left column or the right column so I can go and specifically now just edit this this part so same as before I could change the color of just this column and all of these are exactly the same so I can see see how that's now made it the top section there is is larger so once you start getting um, you know good at edit, editing your pages you can come in and change any different part of this or any different section row column or element so you can see there it's highlighting the left column in the headlines and form section row sorry and then lastly you can go into each individual element so now I know I'm, I'm on the image which is this here or I'm on the headline 
So if I click on that headline element, I can now come in and, and change all of the options within that. Next one down is obviously the save button. So as soon as you've done work, maybe you know, three, four, five minutes, you get in a good habit, click save. The, the, the good thing is it, if you've done lots of work on here over 10, 20 minutes and you forget to save, uh, let me just change something here. Now if I forget to save and I try and exit out of here, it will always ask me, am I sure? Now personally, I wouldn't actually click the prevent this page from creating additional dialogues. I like this popping up because quite often I do forget to, to click save. So I can stay on the page, click save. Now it's saved and I can always double check my work, click preview. And notice that that was the little bit that I just changed there. So you have the save button, the preview button, and the last button there is the exit. Now down just below the chat button here, remember we showed you earlier the chat button. Down below here, this will always pop up and show you little, um, not errors, but little things that maybe you haven't done. So we showed you in the settings how to set up your metadata tags, uh, and I haven't done that, so ClickFunnels is warning me that that isn't um, currently finished, and also the upload the social image. So I haven't done either of those, so that's why this orange box is down here in the right-hand corner. So going back onto the page, obviously any single one of these um, orange or blue or the green areas we can either move up and down for, for for instance a section or a green area we can drag around and these orange especially we can move let's say for instance we like this headline but we want it to go over here if I sorry if I hold the left click down start dragging it see the little blue line just below and then if I drag it now the blue line has gone there so if I drop it now it will drop above that headline Let's say I wanted to drag that one back the other way. There you go. And in, instantly I've switched those around. So I could move the video if I wanted to. And anywhere where it shows a little blue line, that means I could drop it there if I wanted to. And instantly it changes that feel of that page. Or if I don't like this entire section, as you can see there, I can click delete and get rid of it. Or for instance, this text, if I hover, I can delete that. I can delete that and click OK, or I can click on it and then start editing inside. For instance, this is a, I think it was a headline or a list. So I can go in and start editing this. Let's put um, section one, section two, section three. Now you may be thinking, well actually I don't like the yellow and I don't like the white. So again, go and click on the little gear cog. And here, here you go. Here's your color for your text. So let's say we want to change that to, to black. And let's say the bold color, which is obviously the section one, section two, section three. Let's say we want to make that red. That's pretty ugly on the blue background. So let's make that white. And instantly done. So you can then change your font sizes. You can either click on the arrows or change it in here. You can change again all of your individual fonts. You can add icons. So this is obviously, as you can see here, this is changing the little bullet points. And again, it's all functional. It's all, you can change pretty much everything in here. And I just get in a habit after most things I save. So you can see very quickly how you can move things around. And let's say for instance, you like this testimonial, but you want it down lower. Okay, I've only got a footer down there. So the best thing to do now is to jump on your ClickFunnels editor, open up a funnel, start creating, and get a little feel of this, have a play, drag things around. Don't 
don't do it with any purpose or you may want to but you know personally I just want to mess around with it drag things edit things you can left hand side things right hand side you can put a, a link in the middle you can underline there's so many things you can do and if you can't see it here click on the cog and it'll open up all your different options so you can add some text shadow there's, there's unlimited options in in this software so have a quick play uh, any questions email us at support and let's move on to the next module okay so in this module we're just going to discuss understanding your funnel and I've got a little diagram here now I'm presuming that the majority of you have got your product got your market got your fit uh, I will do another module in case you haven't so we're going to skip over this for the moment and we're going to leave as well the, the traffic source because at this point you can um, it's a bit like a tap you can either turn the tap on to turn the traffic on by paying for adverts on Facebook Google etc or you can turn it off um, what we're going to really focus on here is the lead magnet and then the the offer a tripwire okay so once someone's um, gone through your lead magnet and they've opted in and they've given the details you're then going to offer a tripwire and the key to the tripwire is is really just to it's a very small low-end nominal uh, pound or dollar amount uh, offer and the idea is to, to try and break even so if you're advertising here and you're spending I don't know two three four five ten pounds per um, client through into the lead magnet the idea is the tripwire is going to try and cover your costs you know the reality is you're not always going to become break even at this point and that doesn't matter as long as you know what's happening further on down here with your core offers and your back end offers you can afford to lose a little bit of money at this front end uh, because a lot of a lot of people will pay for advertising here and it will just come through to a lead magnet and they won't be offering anything front end so the tripwire is really key as I say low end offer of a product it's really to get that buyer to put their hand up so it could be a three five seven nine pound product obviously related to your core product just to see who is willing to put their hand in their pocket get their credit card out and start to work with you and this will really separate the tire kickers from the the buyers so it's really important um, to get that first part right okay so in this module we're going to show you some tripwire examples and obviously the key thing that we're looking at uh, as we just seen in the previous module is we're taking people from the offer lead magnet through to the offer a tripwire and it's really important to, to get the understanding of, of why um, so let's show you some examples so this is digital market this is Ryan Dice and this is their 60 second blog content this is their lead magnet so really important to understand the difference between the lead magnet and the the tripwire so obviously this is the they're offering um, a 60 second blog content plan as their lead magnet here so again as we talked about this is the first part so when someone clicks on download they've got to enter their their email address as a two-part form and then you can see that they're brought straight through to the tripwire and again it's congruent this is um, you can see it's obviously we've talked it's a 60 second blog plan um, 60 second blog content plan so they're then bringing them through to the 21 step blog launch plan so this will be a sales letter now as you can see it's got a case study great headline and some good sales copy so again it's selling the the client now on why and lots of different reasons why and you can see there so here's their seven dollar tripwire so it's very enticing it's kind of a a no-brainer for the client who was interested in the previous page on blogging this so they're either a, a blogger already or they want to be a blogger to then get offered a seven dollar execution plan on blogging as I say it becomes a kind of a no-brainer and that's what you want your tripwire to be so as soon as they click add to cart 
you're going to get taken through to the order page very straightforward seven dollars click submit and they've got their tripwire so you've got a new client through your lead magnet that was the first part taking their email address and the second part is getting them to purchase the tripwire so just running through again so it's from the the lead magnet the 60 second blog content plan into the tripwire and then from there as soon as they click add to cart they're taken through to the order page for the seven dollar uh, tripwire so let's look at a second example called survival life and down here on the right hand side you'll see if we click on oops, get rid of that. if we click on the free survival business card again this is in a, in a niche where it's you know it's targeting people completely differently from from Ryan Dice and what they're offering here is a free plus plus shipping so it's a tripwire of a slightly different nature and you can see here it's offering this little business card survival um, kit and basically they're saying you get the free survival business card if you pay the shipping and handling so it's the same kind of tripwire but just slightly tweaked and they've got a little intro video there a little bit of sales copy explaining about it um, again not a huge page so what they're doing here is they're, they're amalgamating the landing page uh, sorry the lead magnet and the tripwire into one so as you can see if you click on that it's going to take the email address first so this is the lead magnet part click enter shipping details they've got a little capture page in here just to check that um, you know someone's not a robot and then as you can see you're taken through to the order page and they're charging $4.95 $4.95 shipping and handling and you also get a free book so the people are clicking on the first um, going through so you can see it's quite simple but it, it amalgamates the lead magnet and the tripwire offer into into one offering really which is again a nice way of doing it so you could have a, a small cheap physical product that you can sell and again you know your margins are very low two three four pounds you can offer it a free plus shipping third example is a, a DIY site DIY ready and on the right hand side here you can see oh, let's get rid of that you can see they've got a DIY bracelet and again this is a free plus shipping so it's a free bracelet similar kind of style similar kind of theme with a little video and it's a, bre a, a beaded bracelet kit same kind of theory free plus shipping so as soon as you click the, the free this is the lead, lead magnet if I can say it part and then once you enter you click enter shipping details it then takes you through to the order page again $4.95 shipping and handling and again if someone entered a, a UK address I know that that would change so it's very simple very straightforward again both the second two are adding the lead magnet and the tripwire in as one offer okay so in this module we're going to talk about what is the back end so we've already discussed the tripwire and getting people through our lead magnet and into the tripwire now it'd be absolutely great if you can make this self-liquidating so basically the amount you're spending on your advertising is being covered by this tripwire but as we discussed it's not always possible so you're probably still in negative so this is now where the core product will take you into profit so it's really important to get this right so this now this part from here onwards is what we call your back end so this may be your main core product that you wanted to get into the client's hands in the first place you may have created a, a, a cut down version or a smaller version uh, as a tripwire offer but now is where you want to be selling your your core product and making sure that you turn this into a profit 
not everyone will add a profit maximizer or as I like to call it a high ticket offer but if you do have a higher ticket product then this would follow your core offer and this would just increase the funnels profitability but it isn't a necessity you don't have to have a high ticket product back down there so if the tripwire product has done its job the client would have enjoyed that, that, um, that offer or that product whatever it was and it would have enticed them then to be interested to look at more which then comes in the, the follow-up series and in the follow-up series it's leading them to more products and again that could be 97, 97, 397 you know, depending on obviously the price of your product and then the maximizer you're then looking at 997 1997 you know you never know, quite a big step change a big jump so hope this explains the back end and again any questions just follow me